Here's another tea light candle video. This is going to be about a heater though. I've seen uh, other people do videos on YouTube and stuff like that, but I want to see if it actually works. You know, I'm going to do it more accurate because a lot of people use the thermometers. They stick the thermometer down in there and all that proves is that the flame is hot. But I'm going to take the small pot, put it in the big pot, bolt it, and uh, take this oven thermometer I just got. It's brand new. I'm going to put that in there. Not inside of it. I'm going to put it on top of it. So after I get everything hooked up together, you'll see what's going on. I bought these uh, nuts and bolts today. 350 a day's hardware. This is about 550 at Walmart. Uh, 16 candles at uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. Bought this for 50 cents. This for a dollar 13 at uh, Walmart, and this one here for 275 at Walmart today. So I'm going to put this together and then uh, light it up and show you. I'm probably going to record about every half an hour, see what the temperature is, because on one video somebody's thermometer stop working at 160 degrees. This one here doesn't start work until 150. So um, we'll see how it goes. Okay, uh, <clears throat> here's my stand. It's got holes all the way around it. I think there's eight different holes. Hopefully that's enough oxygen to keep the flames going. But uh, there's the thermometer. It ain't going to start registering until it gets about 150 degrees. And um, I put uh, one inside the other. And every half an hour or so, I'm going to take a look and see how it goes. But let's see if it'll stay lit. These are brand new candles, so they should last. Some of the candles lasted over two hours that I know of. So we'll make sure that's going pretty good. Hopefully they don't go out. Let's see if we can see them in there. Yeah, okay. I'm going to take this and put this on top of it. It's not very stable. Okay, there you go. There's a the thermometer. It's uh, 128 right now. Every half an hour, I'm going to take a look at it. Zero. And uh, I think the flame has went out. So this isn't going to work. Okay, we're going to have to do something else. Okay, the last thing I did, it didn't have enough uh, oxygen. So I'm going to raise up the pots a little bit. And um, you can see one's a little bit lower than the other one. Right there. Probably about an inch, maybe two inches. And hopefully the heat will still go through there. But I'm going to light it up and uh, see what see what happens. The times now is uh, 138. Before it just wasn't getting enough oxygen to keep it going. Okay, you can see that gap. It's probably an inch, inch and a half gap right there between the stand and the first pot. So we'll see. It's uh, 138 right now. Zero degrees. This is about uh, two minutes later. All uh, four tea light candles have um, caught fire, I think. So I'm going to have to put this out. But uh, temperature is pretty close to 150, you know, 145. So these uh, heaters do work, but they also are dangerous. So I'm going to shut this off and show you what really happens. I am uh, I think this is about as accurate as you're going to get. You can see the temperature, you can see the smoke, you can see the flames. And um, you just got to be careful with these uh, heaters and stuff like that.
I was in my computer room for about the last 20 minutes. And I came out here and I could feel the heat from the kitchen. From the computer room to the kitchen, I could feel the difference in the heat coming in here. So um, all four tea lights are still burning. And the temperature, it's gone up. You know, it's off of zero now, so I'm thinking it's pretty close to about 100 degrees. Maybe 110. I'm not for sure. And it's been one hour. So, you know, these uh, candle, tea light candle heaters are a success. You know, it's over 100 degrees. And it will heat up. So one hour. And I'm going to come back in half an hour and see if it gets up there even higher. It's one of the videos, his uh, thermometer quit working at 160, and somebody else took a, a baster or something like that and stuck it inside the pot, so to me that wasn't accurate. accurate. And I've seen other people shoot it with uh, temperature guns, but to me this is going to be the most accurate. It's a oven thermometer, so uh, it's going up. You can see it going up right now, but I'll be back in half an hour and take a look at it again. So, this is a success. Okay, I so saw one of the videos where there has a flashback or something like that. I don't know what it's called. Anywhere the wax catches a fire. It just happened here. And it's starting to smoke. So, you know that these tea lights are dangerous. Here's the temperature. It's, uh, I'm thinking 145. Everything's under control. It's uh, 255 right now. So these tea lights are dangerous, but they do heat up a room, so you have to be extra cautious of what's going on. I'm seeing they're starting to smoke, so one of them flashed over. Maybe even two of them did. The wax caught on fire. So these are dangerous heaters. They work, but uh, you just got to make sure you know what you're doing. This is about uh, two minutes later. All uh, four tea light candles have um, caught fire, I think. So I'm going to have to put this out. But the uh, temperature is pretty close to 150, you know, 145. So these uh, heaters do work, but they also are dangerous. So I'm going to shut this off and show you what really happens. I'm, uh, I think this is about as accurate as you're going to get. You can see the temperature, you can see the smoke, you can see the flames. And um, you just got to be careful with these uh, heaters and stuff like that. There it is, I just uh, pulled it out from underneath. I just want to show you what could happen. I'm going to take a plate or something and put these out. Because uh, you know not to use water or fire extinguisher or something like that. Just uh, suffocate it. I should probably put it out, but uh, I was just getting too much soot in my kitchen. And, uh, well, you see it firsthand here. One fifty. Let's get close so we can see. So within about an hour, an hour and a half, it got up to almost 150 degrees. Plus, um, I don't know if I did anything wrong or what, but that's what it looks like. Just be careful when you use it. Okay, here's the um, aftermath. It's probably, I don't know, 20 minutes later. It's um, time is 3.16. Temperature's starting to drop. As you can see, there's a lot of soot and different things like that. I'm probably still going to use these tea light uh, heaters. I've never used one before. This is my very first time. I just wanted to see if they'd work. But, uh, there's uh, the tea light candle. Afterwards, I had to put it out. But uh, there's a lot of soot and different things like that. So, you've got to be really extra careful when you're working with stuff like this. I'll still use these uh, tea light heaters. This is my first time. I've never done it before. And um, they actually work. You know, but they are very dangerous. And there's still a lot of heat. 
you can feel the heat on that. You can barely touch that right there. It's about 20 minutes later. So this is my video on uh, tea light heaters. Uh, I guess it's a uh, success. <laughs> Have a good day. Thanks for watching.